This has no samples, but it's in full first. Da -da. Ah. <laughs> the hexy cracks me up. That's a cool rig. I love that box rig. It's great. Yeah, there's a lot of really cool stuff in there. Big fan of entrances. I think you are, you as mentioned, blocking plus. I think you can have a bit more, not even polish, a bit more uh, detail in the fingers as it comes in, kind of like these, how it's a little bit of offset. And that, kind of pop in, that's okay. But then it thinks it kind of comes in and hits a bit harshly, and then that rotation seems just a bit simple, and it's axis there. A little bit more of an arc in the flourish and still incorporating the neck a bit more. And that also seems to be, I mean, it also seems a bit broken. I don't know if there, if you want to do something where the, where the, whoops, where the neck is a bit more, ah, ah, it's right at the edge here. Where the neck is, ah, oh, this is horrible. Where the neck is more like this and the head up. So it doesn't seem so bam like that, but a bit more. Like that for the character. That would be my suggestion here. And even opening this up fills in one axis going out. So a bit of a flourish and arcs just kind of pushed out a bit more. The question too is that since this is... Like some parts seem a bit smoother, but it's overall a bit more in step mode. Especially when you got moments like, like that. That feel still very rough, especially with really big transitions. But then the box here is oh, as we can see here play some full much smoother so my question is is that going to be like this for it's going to stay like this kind of more steppy and this smoother or are you going to put that to that level that's kind of like the bigger thing that is going to tell me in terms of the details and everything but other than that i mean everything is very clear i love this i love the exaggeration of coming in like this it feels a bit like you got there's a lot of um, jitter in those legs. It's very, very, a lot of pops in there. And probably as you go up, I see that leg or that foot moving forward a bit, but I would do something where imagine the pressure as it goes up, rack goes in, especially on that drop here, then I would kind of squeeze out, move, rotate out the feet for a little squash. That is a bit too aligned to me, the forearms I would Bring that one maybe a bit up as you have a you have a color silhouette with that hand. So you can bring this down and then you can maybe still have that elbow there. So it's like a stick coming out. It's a bit too horizontal as well. All of that gets a bit of a like that to me seems already a bit better as a as a silhouette. That with the overlap on those hands, I will probably fix that a bit more. It just keeps keeps going there. And there's some moments here silhouette wise where you want to see the bend, I will bring out that arm. Either something where you can bring the shoulder lower so you can see more of that bend. Or you want to bring it here or a bit lower and then bring it up for that pull. And then I don't know if you have something where you can... I will leave that thumb but then that wrist will be down here. Just an adjustment in the finger. So you don't have that break there. That just feels a bit rough. Love how the, the hammer comes out. It's just all very rough at this point. Uh, again, But that's the question. Do you want to keep it like that? You mentioned blocking plus, but then at this point, I would still spline it out in a blocking plus moment. And then stuff like that here, I will probably just push that line further with those arms to be a bit more like this. You have a bigger line of action than straight there. I do love all of the scrambling there, but then it comes back to again silhouette where you don't have the bend of the arm there. So if you do a silhouette test, they're just kind of stumps and kind of is overall there it gets a bit better there watch out it's a bit closer to that line it's not too bad almost tangents there but again the line is gone with the bend in the arm so it feels like a very short arm again it's here i think that i would just work on the silhouette of those arms a lot and then watch out get a little exorcist moment there i do like that the slip in the leg there it's just a lot of good stuff it just seems Kind of just rough in the spacing, so I will keep working on that. And some of the lines like that is nice going back. And I like that the head kind of sticks, but I would still have, as this body pushes up, I would still bring up the nose a bit. Imagine that chest is really pushing up the chin a bit. I know we're in cartoon land, but then it's still rendered a bit more realistically and stuff like that, where it really feels just kind of stuck in IK. 
terms of the head align there. So I would still have a little bit of movement there. I imagine that shoulder is kind of pushing that head a little bit up to the right. And then it can come down, again, nose a bit more here, and then it can come back into an arc to then go out there. And even something like this, you can have a little bit of a stretch on the head, maybe a bit more exaggerated, maybe a little bit of a smear there potentially, and then it gets out. Stuff like that. Dong. I do like the box. Box is cool. Ba -ba. It's a little squash there, and it goes up to here, and it feels like it's landing kind of the same spot-ish there so what i would do is imagine it hits it kind of here on the edge right so to me that up would be slightly then more like this i'm exaggerating in terms of the rotation but not so straight up so there's a bit of a rotation in there which means that it could land also in an arc like this so that hands could be here maybe you have to adjust the, the hammer to be a bit more screen right what's going on there yeah maybe that's going to help you too with the stepping on meaning that hammer goes more to the right so that you have a bit more room to put that arm there so that your overall box can be more here, if that makes sense. Just so it's not the up and down, that's a straight line, but something a bit over there. And then you can have a bit more on the landing, a bit more rotation and changes. It's a bit more complexity there. This one, watch out. This is always a classic thing where you are leaning back. It's somewhat centered, but you want to go this way. This is the arm that needs to straighten to push this way. But what happens is that there is what one frame going over with this hand already going up. So it's not that much pressure anymore. And then it's already moving. So to me, this just physically makes no sense for that box to be able to go over there. And I know we're in cartoon land, but I would still kind of observe some of these things where you can anticipate, but then that arm just have then a pose where it's a bit more like that. And maybe if you can stretch it a bit, I don't know sure if you can do that. And then you flatten out and spread out the fingers for the squash so that at this point, it might be rotated more towards us, so this is lower, but you have a full stretch. It's almost like a jump, and that's the full extension of the leg. And that will give you, whoa, the momentum to go forward, and so on. Same thing here. As you come over there, there's more of a uh, compression on that hand. So I would spread out those fingers. The roll is nice. Get a bit of an offset in the fingers, and there's the rotations coming in. But same thing there, a bit more compression on the fingers. I like that little slide and change it. That's nice. But then again, a bit of a change in the fingers. And then pop, pop, pop. And then you mentioned here, what is that? The ponytail is not the best. Yeah, but at the same time, it also doesn't feel like this super smooth, silky ribbon. That, you know, that's still going to be somewhat hard. I don't mind, to be honest, where it's... I think there are some moments where it goes up here. I would still have a bit of a drag here. And then you can go do that drag overlap into this. But I don't mind this being stiffer. Maybe not like that. Maybe a bit of a nicer line, but it doesn't have to be that super smooth, silky ribbon thing. I don't mind a bit of a, a stronger feel, just given that curled ponytail strength of it. But still some lines here and there. Even this, I can smooth that out. But if not, the biggest thing I would say is just you have a drag, you know what I mean, here, and then a reversal here into. I would probably wait a bit with that tip. Bam! And then on that impact. And then have a bit of a looseness a little bit. But on that up, it feels like that wants to be down like that into... Whoa, into that. Especially from here to here. A bit more of a drag in that tip there. And then you might even go into here. And uh, straighten a little bit here. And then down and maybe a bit lower. Little adjustments there. But yeah, overall, very cool. I like the presentation. It's a fun idea, a nice little surprise. That's all good stuff. All right, thanks. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.